Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to use the iris scanner on our Note 8. So come into your settings and we're going to come down to lock screen and security. We're going to come down to the iris scanner where we can register our irises. Now this is also going to require us setting up a secure lock screen and then we're going to register our irises after that. So tap continue and we're going to set up a secure lock screen. We have three options here. We can do a pattern, a pin, or a password. A pattern is a basic on-screen pattern and that's a medium security. A pin is an actual digit code and that's going to be medium to high security as well because we can go from four to anywhere up to I think it's ten digits if we wanted to. And then password is going to be an alphanumeric password that we're kind of accustomed to using on our computers and that's going to be a higher security. Now the mediums are okay, I would more recommend a password but for this example I'm just going to go ahead and choose a pin. So I'll go ahead and choose one, two, three, four. I would choose something way more secure than that, but I'm just using this for this example in this video so we can get through this. Now it's giving you some precautions for iris recognition. We're gonna protect our eyes from eight inches away. Do not attach unofficial screen protectors. Do not use iris recognition with infants. And if you have dizziness, seizures, loss of awareness, blackouts, and other symptoms for an epileptic condition, be sure and not use this, and it is not intended for use as a medical device. So for better iris recognition, it does recommend to not use glasses or contact lenses, avoid glare, don't get in the way of the camera or LED, don't kind of go through different variations of light while you're trying to scan, and so we'll tap OK to do this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to register our irises and we'll tap continue. And it's going to have me hold the phone about 10 to 14 inches away from my face and then it's going to start scanning my irises. So now that I've done that my irises are registered and it's going to give me some tips. I can go ahead and view all the tips or just go ahead and skip them if you've already done this before. So now for our secure lock screen, we're going to have to tell it whether we want to see notifications or not. If we want notifications, we can also hide the content, and then we can also just see the icons by themselves. Tap done once you've set the setting up, and now we are ready to go with our iris scanner. We can remove our iris data. We can preview the screen mask. So by default, it's just going to kind of give us a basic two circles to put our eyes in, but we can also see a few different masks that we can use whenever we do it to kind of make it a little bit more fun. So you see some of them are kind of Spartan masks. We have some goggles, we have cats, dogs, and it looks like a raccoon, and a couple different kind of fall themes because we are in fall right now at the time of recording this video. So I'll choose what looks kind of similar to an Iron Man mask, and I'll tap on that. Now for iris verification, we can also use it with our Samsung Pass and Samsung Pay. Right now we have our phone set to iris unlock, so whenever we unlock our device, we'll have to use our irises. And keep in mind that if we have too many failed attempts, we'll have to put in our passcode. And if we are restarting our device or powering it up from a power down, we will have to put in our input password as well. And we can also use iris unlock when the screen turns on, and then there are other tips down below. Now something else I like to do when I'm using either a fingerprint scanner or iris scanner as my lock screen, I like to come into my secure lock settings, we'll have to input our passcode, and then we're going to come up to lock automatically. Right now this is set to lock automatically after 5 seconds after the screen is locked. So what that means is within 5 seconds of locking the screen, I can quickly unlock my device without having to put in any sort of passcode. Five seconds is short, but if someone were to immediately pick up my phone after I locked it, they could get access to my device. So I like to set it to immediately. So this means as soon as my phone locks, as you immediately try to unlock it, you will have to put in a passcode or scan my irises. This is something I recommend because this is an extra layer of security, making sure that as soon as your phone is locked, it is locked and will have to be unlocked with a passcode or your irises or your fingerprint. So that is how you use your iris scanner on your Galaxy Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful, and we'll see you in the next one.